Archimedes of Syracuse, circa 287, circa 212 BC, he was a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, astronomer, and inventor from the ancient city of Syracuse in Sicily. Archimedes was born circa 287 BC in the seaport city of Syracuse, Sicily, at that time a self-governing colony in Magna Graecia. The date of birth is based on a statement by the Byzantine Greek historian John Tsetsas that Archimedes lived for 75 years before his death in 212 BC. In the Sand Reckoner, Archimedes gives his father's name as Phidias, an astronomer about whom nothing else is known. A biography of Archimedes was written by his friend Heraclides, but this work has been lost, leaving the details of his life obscure. It is unknown, for instance, whether he ever married or had children, or if he ever visited Alexandria, Egypt, during his youth. From his surviving written works, it is clear that he maintained collegiate relations with scholars based there including his friend Conan of Samos and the head librarian Eratosthenes of Cyrene. The standard versions of Archimedes' life were written long after his death by Greek and Roman historians. The earliest reference to Archimedes occurs in the histories by Polybius, circa 200-118 BC, written about 70 years after his death. It sheds little light on Archimedes as a person, and focuses on the war machines that he is said to have built in order to defend the city from the Romans. Polybius remarks how, during the Second Punic War, Syracuse switched allegiances from Rome to Carthage, resulting in a military campaign to take the city under the command of Marcus Claudius Marcellus and Appius Claudius Pulcher, which lasted from 213 to 212 BC. He notes that the Romans underestimated Syracuse's defenses, and mentions several machines Archimedes designed, including improved catapults, crane-like machines that could be swung around in an arc, and stone throwers. Although the Romans ultimately captured the city, they suffered considerable losses due to Archimedes' inventiveness. Cicero, 106-43 BC, mentions Archimedes in some of his works. While serving as a quester in Sicily, Cicero found what was presumed to be Archimedes' tomb near the Agrigentine Gate in Syracuse, in a neglected condition and overgrown with bushes. Cicero had the tomb cleaned up and was able to see the carving and read some of the verses that had been added as an inscription. The tomb carried a sculpture illustrating Archimedes' favorite mathematical proof, that the volume and surface area of the sphere are two-thirds that of the cylinder including its bases. He also mentions that Marcellus brought to Rome two planetariums Archimedes built. The Roman historian Livy, 59 BC to 17 AD, retells Polybius' story of the capture of Syracuse and Archimedes' role in it. Plutarch, 45 to 119 AD, wrote in his Parallel Lives, that Archimedes was related to King Hiero II, the ruler of Syracuse. He also provides at least two accounts on how Archimedes died after the city was taken. According to the most popular account, 
Archimedes was contemplating a mathematical diagram when the city was captured. A Roman soldier commanded him to come and meet Marcellus, but he declined, saying that he had to finish working on the problem. This enraged the soldier, who killed Archimedes with his sword. Another story has Archimedes carrying mathematical instruments before being killed because a soldier thought they were valuable items. Marcellus was reportedly angered by Archimedes' death, as he considered him a valuable scientific asset. He called Archimedes a geometrical Briarius, and had ordered that he should not be harmed. The last words attributed to Archimedes are do not disturb my circles, Latin, noli turbare circulos meos, catharvusa Greek, mu mu omicron upsilon tau omicron sigma kappa kappa lambda omicron upsilon sigma tau rho alpha tau tau epsilon, a reference to the mathematical drawing that he was supposedly studying when disturbed by the Roman soldier. There is no reliable evidence that Archimedes uttered these words and they do not appear in Plutarch's account. A similar quotation is found in the work of Valerius Maximus, F.L. 30 AD, who wrote in memorable doings and sayings, said protecto manibus polluer noli and quit, obsecro, istum disturbare, but protecting the dust with his hands, said I beg of you, do not disturb this.